idea once to do something new with something we used to cook food. Welcome to a special edition of Drawing is Hard, Charcoal Edition. We're back to the charcoal, getting dirty. Charcoal Edition. So, uh, the weather, the temperature, the, uh, the weather out. So we have some sort of Halloween-inspired uh, request for Mikey. What we've got for him today is skeleton, candy corn with a K, and autumn, which is pretentious for fall um so if we can get our camera operator to abandon her post yeah thank jess, you, jess. is still mia mm -hmm. still in um where was she denmark i think jess is in denmark now she said trinidad and then the the tobago one Tr <laughs> tobago sure <laughs> the country next to it <laughs> skellington candy corn and autumn this would have been a lot easier if I could use color. But I'm an artist. I don't need these things. Well, I don't need these things. Well, I don't get to use them. I read a book once. I read Hatchet in class, and it was really good. Maybe you should have been paying attention in class. You ever read Hatchet? No. Let me tell you a little bit about it. I was it. paying attention in class. Well, I was in sped ed English, <laughs> and they told me I had to read Hatchet, OK? <laughs> what? I had to be in sped ed. I, just, I edit these things so all my head does <laughs> immediately. I was in sped ed. <laughs> <laughs> I was in sped ed uh, English, so there you go. Sped ed English? Sped ed English. <laughs> just drink more of your juice. <laughs> this skeleton head is going to be the stuff of nightmares. I'm already terrified and I drew it. What I'm getting at, though, is... Hatchet is a book about a kid who, for some dumb reason, the guy who was flying him to, uh, across the Canadian wilderness decided to let him, like, you know, half pilot a plane. Mm -hmm. And he, they're, you know, they, they crash and the guy dies naturally. So uh, the kid's out there in the wilderness alone and has to survive. It's like the ultimate man book, but uh -huh. like as a kid. Here's where I get to show off not only my terrible lack of ability to draw, but my terrible lack of ability to know anything about the human skeleton. Hatchet, though, he gets, okay. he dives into the water for mm -hmm. this plane, right? And in the wreckage, he finds like a first aid kit. And the, the pilot, by the way, he's still dead in the seat. He's like, and then he's like, <laughs> he no, doesn't do that. No, I'm just okay. joking. He, I'm, I'm totally joking. He never That's does terrifying. that. <laughs> yeah, that means scary. I, 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 would, I would be like, ah, close the book immediately. <laughs> <laughs> the road like he's fully around. underwater, but yeah. still takes a breath of the water. <laughs> I am a gill person now. <laughs> I know they didn't strictly ask for a jack-o'-lantern, but they said autumn, and nothing to me says autumn quite like Halloween and Halloween-related paraphernalia. <laughs> but he swims back up. He's got a hatchet mm -hmm. and, like... You know, the he, pilot or the kid? No, the kid. Okay. The pilot's dead. <laughs> I like well, my version. I have a whole other story where he can breathe water and comes back up with a I'll hatchet. Get, I'll, I'll get to this. Hold okay. on. So, you know, he goes through, like, the winter of, like, building his own hut and, like, mm -hmm. living off the land and stuff. Finally, he gets saved or whatnot. They have another book that is a what-if book to the first one, <laughs> which is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Like, how do you make a sequel about a book and you go... What if they didn't find? I feel like the author was like driving home from submitting the first book and then goes, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I've got a great idea. <laughs> like, he, like he's driving home and he's like, ah, he throws his keys on the table and he goes to his computer and he's like, oh, crap, I gave him the wrong draft. You know, and then he's like, oh, crap. And he's like, goes, and then that has a different ending. So he's like, you know what? We'll just fix this. Okay, I got an easy way to fix it. And his wife, Helen's like, How, you know, why are you doing this? You're wasting all your time. Like, that book's Shut over. up, Helen. Just go get all the white out right now. Yeah. I think of all the stuff we draw with, charcoal's my favorite. It's, it's just fun to draw with. I'm still no better at it, but it's more fun. And plus, getting dirty is always a plus. All right. Come on. Ready? 
That is a fucked up swastika on his forehead. That is the <laughs> first thing. There are all sorts of things they teach in art about how to guide the eye somewhere. Yeah. And somehow, amidst everything else, this is one of the most full drawings he's done. Yeah. But the first place you go <laughs> is to the misaligned swastika. What? Where are you getting a swastika from? It's a crack in his skull. Come on. All you need to do is like take those two pieces yep. and do this. Boom, swastika done. That's awesome. Great. Pretty scared. <laughs> I will I will not lie. I think that this is the <laughs> by the way, this is the skeleton of a lizard man. <laughs> what the fuck are they talking about? Um, let's count the ribs. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, seven. seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? I'm gonna say 13, just because this one is not fully closed at the bottom. Actually, there's two of them, kind of, so I don't know what they are. Yeah, it's, there are six ribs on one side and eight on the other. I, I was actually asking about this just last week, numbers of ribs. I wish I had gotten an answer. Um, we have the largest melting candy corn. <laughs> I wonder if there's any charcoal left. Look how dark that is. <laughs> candy corn does look like that. That's why nobody eats it. Pumpkin? Died in a traumatic way. Yeah, his mm -hmm. head is flat, and somehow he still has the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stem is still in there. Somebody, like, bashed his head in. <laughs> That's you why think? he's looking like that. He's like, oh, gosh, this is going to happen again this year. There are pu it's a pumpkin. That's what kids do to pumpkins. Dead. You know what I see? Okay, it's like, let's say it is December 5th. <laughs> and this skeleton doesn't know how to read a calendar. <laughs> He's late for Halloween. And he brought all the Halloween stuff, which is his pumpkin that went dead, so the top <laughs> caved in. <laughs> and he, this huge piece of candy corn that's sort of melted, because it's old. And like, old. you open your store on December 5th, like you're gonna head out to buy some presents, <laughs> and he's there like, HAPPY HALLOWEEN! <laughs> <laughs> like, the perspective is us looking outside of a door that we just opened to go to work. Like, it's it's 5.30 in the morning, and this is the first thing I see on December 5th. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> so this is me punching him and him falling back and knocking over everything. Yes, that's exactly what I had going on, is a dude going from door to door on December 5th for December 5th Halloween. That's, that'd be great. He shows up at a house. He's like, nobody ever goes to that house because they never had their porch light on during Halloween. I'm going to go make them feel happy. You ring the doorbell, set up. Happy Halloween. The guys obviously don't want you to be bothering them. Punch to the face. Take that, lizard man. Oh, wait. Maybe it's perspective. As you punched him, he had the candy corn in his hand, and it's coming towards you. Like he was so like, some, like, oh, crap, my candy yeah. corn, my one piece that I kept. Right. Um, yeah, well, well, here's the deal. It's not a good drawing, we know that, but our criticism of it has made the story. Yeah. So we're better art critics than he is an artist. So we have managed to turn this into art for him as a service by being good. So the summary here is, us good, you bad. You bad, you real wrong with this. We good. We real good. We're real good. Like we, we good. made we the story so for you. Well, they actually had some not terrible things to say. Um, they weren't really insulting, except for how does Drew find a swastika and everything all the time? But I guess Hitler is scary. That's Halloween, right? Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, all that other fun stuff you do. Have a good Halloween. Hard and we tried our best, but we're not very good, so we made.